Editme to Learn is an initiative that is based around Pulitzer Prize winning journalist Paul Selipik's journey around the world. Uh, he has a program called Out of Eden Walk in conjunction with National Geographic, in which he is walking from Africa, across the Middle East and Asia, and ultimately down through North and South America. It's going to take seven years. Here at Project Zero at the Harvard Graduate School of Education, we're developing an educational component to accompany his walk. We do not have a background at all in, in designing um, web-based platforms and so it was really great that we could come down on a regular basis and really talk through the deeper structure of the platform, what we were hoping to achieve and, and then some design issues. Our first design approaches were cute and gamey uh, but ultimately we found that that was kind of talking down to the audience. There is this real world element to what we're doing uh, and sometimes you don't think of that, you're only looking at the screen. In the end we designed something that was a bit more sophisticated. It has some game-like elements, but it also has respect for the level of work that the students are submitting. Uh, we made the, the website from scratch using uh, framework called Django. Django is a web framework written in Python and that allowed us a lot of customizability and uh, pretty much free reign to do whatever we wanted um, for the client's needs. Django comes with a, a pre-built admin system which makes entering content and moderating the site um, very easy. It's easy to extend that functionality to whatever is needed. Project Zero uses our platform to pair up classes from all around the world and uh, let them collaborate on different learning activities. Out of Eden has been able to scale their learning platform from one group to currently 60 groups. So that's five classes to now what is about 350 classes. Throughout the program there's three reflections that the students have to answer um, and those are you know asking what uh, some of the things they like, didn't like, what was their favorite uh, activity, what did they learn, and that uh, is all viewable to the Project Zero staff and they're able to tailor their program and, and um, based on the feedback. So Paul Salapak has been really thrilled with the site. Um, he feels that um, the project itself um, is very complementary with the kind of work that he's doing. He feels that the design on the platform and what we're able to achieve with that educationally has really been a great complement to his walk. Um, so he's had nothing but praise for it. And I'll also add that I've been getting extremely positive feedback from educators um, and indirectly through students who, who really like the ease of use of the site and kind of appealing interface and ways in which they can very easily see posts that other kids have put up on them. Yes, I feel like the whole of Project Zero um, is something that we're proud of. Um, I feel like it's something that we work together with ICON and um, yeah, we're enjoying it and look forward